It is. We're running behind schedule. Six oh nine. It is six oh nine. We call to order the regular um, meeting of the uh, Hardwick Select Board. It's Thursday, April twenty first. Um, first thing is set adjust agenda. Does anybody have anything that they want to add, remove, or strike? Oh. Or add or strike? Oh. Um, we need to add an item number four to appoint Doug McClure as the alternate for the NEK broadband. Yep. Uh, can you remind me who was alternate? I'm not slipping my mind. He, he, no, he was. It was. It's just we need to re reassign him that. every year. And then Paul Fix is the representative. Yeah. And I got an email from, and it looked like it had been sent to all of us, from a fellow volunteering or asking to be appointed to the school board. Right. It was addressed to you. Not to me. Did you see that? I no, see I've it. been a little that was the email. distracted. I didn't see it. Yeah. Did that, that needs to go through the town manager's office, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll Kevin do. Moore. Well, ultimately, we appoint him. Kevin yes, Moore we do. wanted to You're be. Right. Kevin Moore. Oh, to the OS. Kevin Moore. Yes. He's been on there before. He's been he on there before, been. but yeah. the seat remains empty, so he's offering to take it up again. Basically, that was his that? letter. That's what his letter was. When was that? There's a three year seat that's still empty, and email? so he's asking. Can we do it tonight, or do we need to see the. 3.36 this afternoon. Oh, that's why I didn't see it. Can we do it tonight? We can. You can add, add it. it. Let's just add it. I mean, add he, was it. On, he was on there before. So. Number five. Uh, Kevin Moore. To Which board is it, Sherry? O S. It's the long one. Yeah. O S U E D board. O S U E S D, I guess. Holy Jesus. Yeah. Okay. So we got number four and a number five. Anything else? Someone make a motion. Make a motion. Uh, we amended the agenda. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, that's everyone. So motion carries. Um, communication from the audience. Welcome, Larry. Thank you. You can sign in over here. <laughs> no audience. Do you are are you here to communicate, or are you here for yeah, where here you are on the? Well, I don't know, I you're item number three. I saw my name on the agenda, so I thought I'd come and defend myself. Good idea. Good idea. Right. We'll, try, we'll try to. Today's Fishing Game Club. If you don't show up in a meeting, you get appointed to a position. Yeah. So we're going to try to get to that line item as quickly as we can. Should be quick. Thank you, John. Meh. All right. So next is select board to approve minutes from last time, which was March the 17th. Um, I thought the minutes were good. Does anybody make a motion to accept the minutes? Second. Any uh, changes, discussion? All in favor, yeah. please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, next is town manager's report, which we have in, I'll just read it off. Um, so David Upson has provided us, he's out on vacation, but. Um, we have uh, three points. SE Group will be submitting a cost proposal for the design phase of the pedestrian bridge. Once we receive this and approve the proposal, we can sign contracts to begin work. Okay, this goes back to our previous discussion in the previous meeting. That's for and, and the swinging we, bridge. Just to clarify, we will begin work on design and permitting. Yeah. Not just so people not know. The right, not bridge. the bridge. Right, no, we're still no nails early days. <laughs> Um, next item, the paving project for the class one highway portions of the downtown. This is what um, the VTrans project yes. uh, will begin in May. May 2nd. Yep. Uh, community, the, the community needs to plan ahead as this will likely cause some disruptions in the traffic for the duration of the project. But that will be, be a great project. Do we know what the duration is likely to be? Like All two summer. weeks? Yeah. Or? All summer. What? Yeah. They got it on their thing from May until fall. So yeah. how does that affect Spring Festival and the parade? It will be very rough. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Well, I, hopefully somebody's well, having a conversation. Maybe they want to change the parade route or... I don't think we'll have it. 
know we can check because we, we don't have a choice on them when they're going to do it. But no. they might no, not. I, I'm no, not saying they we might do. not be ready mean, before Memorial Day but when saying, they grind it. They're not going to start grinding the first day, are they? From my understanding, they're coming in and start grinding right off. Right off the bat. Right off bat. Yeah. But, so that's May second. But Sherry's saying well, you can change the parade route. Start right on May second. Where are you going to change the parade route to? Kiwanis needs to know that. I mean, maybe they come and go right, down well, church they're only Street and go it, to. Right? I mean, yeah. They're only grinding that. It's still going to be pavement. Okay. Okay. We'll see how it goes. Let's go. Uh, it's going to be. I'm going to reach out to Kiwanis tomorrow. Just, Just give them the heads them up. Yeah. So they're not like completely side. Yeah. Um, we also let in the planning stages with the engineer from the group that V-Transit hired, we let them know about the Memorial Day Parade. They asked if we had any events and whatever, so right. that should be yes. on their list, too, yeah. that, that's happening. Yeah, I mean, it if was, they, the grind is... He's been in contact with yeah, the, okay. I mean, if, the email. If it's stuff. just grind, it should, it should be It's just going to be rough. It's yeah. going to be. be. Okay. I mean, it's not that rough. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. It won't be much worse. It's a smooth rough. Smooth rough, yeah. <laughs> it's ruffled. All right, next. Not slip. Town manager's office submitted a $1 million congressionally directed spending request for the wastewater treatment facility upgrade. Yeah, it was due on Friday and yeah. they got it done. Great. So. And we're supposed to, you're supposed to hear back about it by May 6th. Oh, my word. Right? And that's for. That's uh, to. Was that to. Peter Welch's office. Oh, to Welch's. Okay. Because they're all, they were all due with them. Right, yeah. the 22nd is the one yeah. for late. Okay, office. great. That could be super helpful. The timing on that, I just would note, is that's for the federal budget that they'll theoretically vote on in September, October or sometime, mm -hmm. right? And maybe pass by yeah. next year. Yeah, it's 2023, year. but we were talking mm -hmm. about the wastewater project going over two years see. anyway. Yep. yep, yep. So it could work great. That would be awesome. All right, that's the manager's report. Um, where are we? Road, Road foreman report. Tom Fadden, welcome. All right. Uh, of course, the weather ain't been doing us any good for grading lately, so for the last couple of weeks, anyways. Uh, we did manage to get back, finish up Harvick Farms, Montgomery, and we finished off, I think, uh, Dimmick Road today. Uh, got, got those done and last week. I think we just kind of spotted here and there a little bit between the stuff. Uh, flushing's going on. It should finish up tomorrow. Uh, what else? Uh, we had a couple sewer issues, backups. Uh, we had one today on Vermont Ave there we had to deal with. Uh, this weekend we had a pump burn up on Putnam Ave uh, up there in the pump house. So you know, we tore that out yesterday. We took that out. We took that down to Morrisville to get that rebuilt. Uh, besides that, that's about it, really. Is that um, the place you guys had to dig up? I think it was sewer on North Main that still got piles of dirt next to it. No, was well, that we water? Did that this winter? Yeah, no, we had a spot up on Vermont Ave there, one of our main line plug. Oh, okay. It was kind of overflowing down the top there. Right when I'm getting in that plug, there, so. get it okay. flush. All right. All right. Thank you. Questions for Tom? All right. Next, uh, police department report. Um, Mike Henry must be busy doing something else. That would be my first guess. Yep. He's got a kind of a light staff, so he's probably busy. Mm -hmm. um, next is the Hardwick Electric report. I, unless Vince, no Vince, he's not on TV either. No. Okay. This is going really well. <laughs> so far, so good. We're going to get to you, Larry. <laughs> Next is item one, select board to consider approving a letter of support for the Crossbury Community Care Center. So Kathy Hemmons requested that, that we get this letter for them. Um, and this is due tomorrow. And it's also for um, congressionally directed spe spending. Um. Oh, so it's not a grant thing. No, no it's, but okay. it's the same program. You still have to describe your project and have letters right. of support and whatever. Right. This is the one that's due tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And I think as Gary stated um, earlier tonight, uh, even though it's in the town of Crossbury, the majority of the residents yeah. are come from Hardwick. Mm -hmm. Right. Can I make a motion to Do sign that, Eric? To have me sign it, it, looks like. Second. 
Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. It's actually Kathy who clued me into the, right. the, the appropriations anyway. So. All right, so motion carries on that. I'll sign a clean copy of that when that comes around. Next is item two, select board to consider approving amendments to the ATV ordinance specifically for access to downtown via South Main Street. And this is, we had previously updated the ATV ordinance to allow ATVs to come up South Main Street to the flashing yellow light, red light in that direction. Um, but there are some changes that Danny was yeah, well, we summarizing didn't, You guys earlier. made a motion to do it, but you actually did do it. So well, we uh, didn't do it? it you is. voted to do it. But, but you didn't, we didn't do complete it. the form. Oh, so this yeah. is the this is but the But at the same ordinance. time, since you were basically, yeah. we needed to update the definition. So, yep, it's just a ver verifying what you did, basically. It, okay, so definitions. But it looks like we're you're actually adopting it now. The, see what I'm saying? You guys talked, agreed to do it. You just did. Oh, we wanted, to, we wanted to come back with the updated ordinance, and yes. this is here in front of us now. Yes. So you are saying that the changes to this include updating the definition of what an ATV is, and yep. that's to align it with state statute? With state statute. Okay. Yep. And? Added from Mackville Road to um, Route 14. the red light. Routes 14, 15 intersection. Where that's do I find a, this? That's uh, A, page huh? two. Page two. Uh, line A, I think. Is that right or not? No, no, that's the Mackville Road. Sorry. So South Main Street e. from Mackville Road e. to the F. 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 Intersection of the Route 14 and 15. Okay, so we added that one. Yep. Otherwise? Otherwise, she's the same old thing. All right. So, any, any um, does anybody want to make a motion or people have things to we say also, about it? Uh, we also have 15 mile an hour speed limit on that one. Okay. I move we adopt this. Second. That's the right term. This ordinance, yeah. Yes. And your second? Sign it. And yeah. Any discussion? We have already discussed it previously. Mm -hmm. All in favor, please say aye. 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 I'll abstain. Just okay, so we have three ayes, one abstention, and the motion passes. Uh, Amanda, do you have a special one you want us to sign? Yes. Okay. okay. You can do that after if you want. Um, we can just sign everything later. It's fine. Three eyes and one abstention. That's what I thought I said. Oh, Kaylee isn't here. Sorry. Kay Kaylee is attending to her young child. Yes. Couldn't make it tonight. Um, uh, item three, the moment we've all been waiting for in the audience, <laughs> is uh, select board to consider appointing Larry Hamill as the new animal control officer. Uh, welcome, Larry. Do you want to say anything about your uh, interest in? Well, I, I've seen it post. advertised for yeah. quite, a, quite a period of time, um, and I think that's an, uh, an important job for the town. Somebody's yeah. got to do it. Uh, yeah. And you know, I'm qualified. I, I can work with animals. I'm interested in the welfare of domestic animals, not just dogs, but other domestic animals. I can work well with people. I have the time and the equipment to handle and transport animals to and from animal shelters. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so thought I'd step like up and do it. I've been, uh, for this I take my other town mm -hmm. job seriously. Yes. I haven't had a customer in a while, but I've had 28 clients as town service officer, which. Um, well, thank you, Larry. This is another yes. job that uh, yeah. I believe is important. Yeah. To do. No, I think it is. Thank you for stepping up. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome. No, really it's not something it. that I do, you know. It's something I'd like to do. Great. I believe it's important. I believe Somebody it's needs to do it. Work. I believe yeah. it's very important, for sure. Yeah. I move we point I, um, You know, I, uh, like I say, I'm interested in welfare of dogs. If you're looking for, and I'm not, you can be writing parking tickets. Yeah. Okay. Or like put a red light on my truck. Okay. Yeah. Or, or, a, or a hard brick sticker on the side of it. So you're uh, looking at the yeah, animal yeah. control officer aspect. Perfect. Right. I'm not Perfect. Go ahead and collect yep. dog fines uh, yep. for registration. I second to the. Uh, so Wiz made a motion to appoint. And, and, and one other thing, yeah. I see it says Larry Hamill. On anything official or, or anything that I write, I use my given name, which is Lawrence. All right. So if Lawrence. You don't mind. Excellent. So, Wiz actually 
a little bit quietly, but already made the motion to appoint uh, Lawrence Hamill as the new animal control officer. I heard Danny with a second. Mm -hmm. uh, any discussion or questions for Larry? Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. It's important. Sherry Olmstead. I would like. I, I got a brief job description, um, but I'd also like a little bit more information about you know what authorities uh, the job has. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Opie be the man. Opie and Mike oh, Henry. Well, I, I was hoping to see them both tonight. <laughs> I know Opie. I've yeah. known him since he was yeah. a little kid, but. Uh, Mike Henry, I've not met yet. Oh, you should. I think well, you, I, I, yeah. I know that's why I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I'm assuming he's out. So we need to take, we have a motion and a second. So all in favor of appointing Larry to ACO, please say aye. 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 That's everyone, so motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And I assume Mike is just out working. Well, okay. <laughs> that's an important job, too. It really is, but yeah, catch up with him sometime. <coughs> that would be great. Thank you so much. All right, next is um, for the select board to consider appointing Doug McClure as the alternate representative to the NEK Broadband Board. I make a motion to appoint Doug McClure to the whatever. The NEK Broadband Board? Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. Second. So do we normally do the two of them at once? I mean, both yeah, and then we somehow like didn't. I think, I think, no, yeah. right after the organizational oh, right. meeting, when, organization. when we have all yeah. those appointments. And we did, we did do, right. we, did uh, we did appoint Paul at that. We just right. didn't, we missed cool. this one. Anyway, I I, yeah. I'd like to move it. Yeah, you make, Danny moved. I seconded. You seconded. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Thank you to Doug, wherever you are. Um, next is item five, uh, select board to consider appointing Kevin Moore to the OSUESD, uh, previously known as the Elementary School Board. Um, I move we appoint for Kevin the Moore to vacant the three year seat. For the, yes, for the some term remaining on the vacant three year seat. Mm -hmm. I move we appoint Kevin Moore to fill the vacant three year seat on the OSE. O-S-U-E-S-D. Well done. I'll second it. Excellent. Uh, any discussion? We know he served before. We have a letter of interest from him. Yep. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carries. And thank you, Kevin. All right. Select board reports. New business or old business? What do we have? The townhouse is, te is technically open. Um, our first event, I believe, will be the uh, Historical Society's Howard Coffin, the annual meeting of the membership, right? Right. Um, that May 23rd. is May 23rd. Um, yeah. It's Monday, huh? Yeah. Okay. We're working on a sign project, which I'll maybe have some more information for you next time. Um, so that's my report from that. The downtown commission is coming along, and um, I went to the. I attended the HED meeting on Monday night because I was interested to hear where they're at with the uh, EV charger station mm -hmm. project the state is doing, and the discussion around um, like the. There's supposed to be two EV charger stations at the new Buffalo Mountain Market. Um, but then there's some kind of questions around the charges uh, that the demand HED, charge. the demand charge that HED charges. Um, I didn't have any real clarification in that meeting that may, helped me understand charge? why they charge more than other um, electric utilities. utilities, but I tried to figure it out. Um, one thing I, that I was told was that, um, according to Mike Sullivan anyway, it seemed that they felt that it would be less expensive for this developer that's working with the state to actually put the chargers in the public parking lot across from the Buffalo Mountain Market instead of in the market. And now I know that the Buffalo Mountain folks are working hard to make a plan around repaving that lot and they're planning for those 
EV charger. So I don't know what, where it's at ultimately. <laughs> okay. I but, thought, um, okay. I just. Uh, I thought yeah. in the email, Lynn, Lynn suggested that it wasn't going to be discussed at that meeting. I thought she was going to push it out another meeting. Yeah. I must. Maybe I misunderstood. Uh, it it seemed that I requested the uh, Zoom info for the meeting and the agenda and. Then when I received that information, it was on the agenda. Oh, okay. So. Um, Is their website up yet? Do you know? Uh, Mike, in your well, travels, see, did you have, did you look for it? This is why I requested the information yeah. because I went to the website looking for the meeting information, and I kept getting error messages, and I didn't get anywhere. But at the meeting, uh, Mike reported that the website was up and running, so. I don't know if it's really true okay. because I didn't. So find we can it we can check useful. it out on our own. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to know. Um, yeah, and it was a long meeting and mm -hmm. um, all very interesting. But I did end up leaving after an hour and a half because I had to finish making dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for going. Yeah. That's my deal. You're ready. Right. Is that what you, is that your report? Yeah. Danny's yeah, yeah, yeah. reports, he's ready for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Any other select board reports, new business, old business? No. Uh, all right. All right. So um, adjourn. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Really appreciate it. Good time. Liking it. <laughs>